All right. So since it's been a while, full recap. Um. Let's see. Okay. So the game started off with a festival in Hennessy, is celebrating a hundred years of the Black Mage being defeated. There were multiple activities that each of the party members participated in. Um, during the festival, um, Yvonne's character, Aiden, was found studying in the library. Uh, Kurt's character participated in a food eating contest. Gerard's character follow, uh, did an archery contest. Um, Sassoon's character, I believe he just, all he did was kind of hang out. Um, and Malachi's character participated in arm wrestling. Uh, as the night fell, fireworks were going off. And at the coming of conclusion for the festival. I didn't have to mute this. Thank you. Now I can hear myself. Um, once then, so once the night fell, fireworks started going off until there was a screech and a commotion by the clock tower. Players noticed a shadowy figure that they saw at each of the participating events throughout the day um, falling from the clock tower. And b but before they hit the ground, they erupted into flyers There's, with thank you letters for attending the next year, attending the festival, and that next year's would be at Perion. However, when the PCs picked up the flyers, they were asked to come to the tavern in the morning, and any flyer that they picked up would magically change to that same flyer asking them to come to the tavern. When they got to the tavern, they were greeted by Alex, uh, who was the chief of the town's son, letting them know, my father was not at the festival, I need you to go looking for him. The party was then sent off to his last known location of Lith Harbor, uh, which, as they were traveling there, Aiden, Yvonne's character, stepped in across slime and was like, what the heck is going on? And then realized it was caused by snails, to which he yeeted one of them across of the map. The snails started slowly going towards him in anger until they noticed a giant snail that they were afraid of. Aiden decided he wanted to attack the snail and then commanded it to approach him. However, the snail was visibly frightened and when Aiden went to reach out to bite, uh, to pet the snail, it bit him, swallowed him, and his friends were forced to attack. The party eventually killed the snail, in quotation marks, killed, but before it, the finishing blow was dealt, Chief Stan was cowering in fear for his life. And Chief told him that he was transformed into a giant snail by a shadowy figure while he was returning home from Lith Harbor, and he gave Jill a rainbow snail shell that was found in his pocket after the transformation. The party then ventured back to Hennessy's with... Malachi's character dragging Zachariah due to him being coming paralyzed. I gotta scroll over. When the party re journeyed back to the residence, they were greeted again by Alex, showing him that they did in fact find his father and he isn't safe. Chief Stan asked what the reward was that the party asked for Al from Alex, and upon hearing it, they, he talked them down into a smaller reward of gold and food from the tavern. While talking, a pet cat that was later named Garfield came over and bit Yuma. This was, cat was known as the stray in the town and Yuma decided to befriend it. Uh, while the party was away though, Alex was able to make contact 
from the Mage Guild, as Yvonne's character did not want any reward of monetary value, he wanted reward in knowledge. The players, um, as they were waiting for their food to be cooked, noticed that a mage came into the tavern. This mage was named Amari, who was sent by the Mage Guild because of Yuan wanting to learn healing magic. When she came over to the group, she assumed that the character of Malachi's was the one that requested it, but when it was revealed that it was Yvonne's character, she was disgusted as it was a war... Uh, realizing that he was a warforged. They told the party that there was nothing that she could do for them at the tavern, and if they wanted to learn, they would have to come back to Alinea with her. She healed the party and opened a dimensional door to take them to Alinea. Once the party decided to split off, three of them went to the magic library, two of them went to the general store. But before they were able to do that, they noticed the same shadowy figure from before leaving towards the ship. The party chased after them, but was held back by the guards as the ship was already taking off towards Assyria. The party decided again to do their split up. Yvonne, Kurt, and Gerard went to go buy weapons and armor, but it would be too expensive. Kurt ended up buying a mask that would help him remember dreams, and a fairy that in a jar that would tell very bad jokes. And as the party rejoined completely at the magic library, they were first having to prove their intentions before being let into the uh, the library. This was done by Amari, who everyone except for Kurt was able to pass. She asked Kurt what her their true intentions were, and Kurt was able to convince her that he was of no evil, only there to help. She reluctantly let him through, though being suspicious of him. As the party proceeded to search through the books in the library, um, they weren't able to find any particular healing magic that could help with Yvonne's character. But they also found, noticed other NPCs, Donzel and Kumi, who were interested in Malachi's cat. They en ended up kidnapping the cat, which Malachi chased after, and then proved to them that it was not the one that they were looking for. They then apologized for it and asked for help finding theirs. The party was set off into the Linea Forest, where they would encounter evil eyes that were trying to attack their pet cat, Wonky. The party f fought off the evil eyes and rescued Wonky, though taking some severe damage. And then came back to deliver the cat. Upon arriving with the cat, the Kumi convinced Mari that they were to be rewarded with seeing the man, the master, quote unquote, of uh, the Mage Guild, which was revealed to Yvonne as Grendel. Yvonne's tone changed when he realized that this was that as he has some unknown story beef with Grendel. Yvonne proceeded to take a step outside, and that's where the last session ended. So currently you guys are still in the Magic Library. Yvonne is outside the library. What would you guys like to do? You're in the, you're in the, you're not in this area, you're outside. So you should have a linea on your navigation.
Right, Gerard, what are you doing? That you you will see. It's the only it's the only downside is I have to activate every scene for the OBS thing to work. <laughs> there we go. Testing one, right, two, three. Hello, hello. Jack, can you hear us now? Cool. I think we're good. I need some time to think about this. <laughs> well, okay. You're the one who wanted knowledge. So if you need anything, just let us know. I'm gonna go ask about the... that rainbow snail shell. Maybe they might know something about this. Nevaeh, keep an eye on him, would you? Will do. I'm gonna make my way over. I'll make my way over to the kids here and um just gonna kind of just address everyone in terms of like so how familiar are you guys with magical items Donzel here i'm gonna do this for you kurt mm -hmm. now you don't have to now you're not on the grid if you right click yourself in the top right or in the bottom right there's like a grid icon there we go under afk yeah so you can unclick it and then you can move around better. Okay. Um, Don's will, uh, will approach. What, what kind of magical items? Um, ones that would transform users into monsters against their will. You mean like a polymorph? I don't necessarily know. know the magic term, but something we I know came across potions that do that. Well, but not items. Interesting. So, I came across this in a recent travel uh, in a recent travel uh, back in Hennessy's in Lith Harbor. I'm gonna slowly pull out the rainbow snail shell. And apparent. So, Chief Stan of Hennessy's was transformed oh. into a lar a very large snail, and we managed to get him, or he we managed to subdue him, and then he was transformed back into his human self, but. This was left behind and apparently had something to do with it. The cat will come over. Well, that looks like a mano shell. Where did you say you got this from? Well, apparently from a mono himself, but 
this mono was happened to be Chief Stan transformed into a mono. Well, that's interesting because mono only comes out during the springtime and it's fall right now. Yeah, from what it should we... be hibernating. Well, I don't imagine Stan would exa Stan would have exactly known how the biology of Manos would work, but in terms of how he transformed, that's more I'm more curious about. How, why would this shell on its own transform a human into a, mon a Mano? That's interesting. Um, or maybe it's not the only thing. I don't know. I don't sense any magic coming from it. Hmm. I don't know. You might have to ask Grendel when you when he comes back. When you can Oh? When Amari not... comes back, I mean. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I'll just put it back in my pocket. How are you guys feeling? Relieved? Well, uh, you got your friend back. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's back. I mean, he's a little scrapped up, but I, I can assume that's from the evil eyes that you said you were fighting against. Right, buddy? Yeah, yeah well... I kind of climbed some trees also, and they had thorns, and you know... That doesn't surprise me. And cats will be cats. If you don't mind, ma'am, though, we have to get back to studying. Oh. By all means, thank you for your time. Hmm. At this point... Uh, what am I going to do here? I think I'll make, I'll, uh, I'll make my way back outside, see how, how everyone's doing. Can I click, oh, <clears throat> isn't there meant to be like a way to swap? between places there is but um i have to do it for the obs capture oh because otherwise like i can switch but it doesn't switch on obs okay that's like the only down part i mean i could just capture my screen but then you guys see all the ui gm elements that i'm seeing okay and it won't look good it won't look clean I don't know if my game is busted, but the screen's been black for me for since you first. You don't have a character on. Um, you don't have a character on the map. That's why. Um. Cool. I'm just watching off stream. Yeah. All right. How are you guys doing over here? Ah, just keep an eye on the good old lad. I'm so, kind of hurt right now. Oh? Did you yeah. fall into the water? Did your robot parts started breaking? Yeah, maybe. You might want to get away from the fountain then. You, uh, you notice his arms got a little bit of rust forming on it. I, I, I am thinking very hard. I think I will meet Grendel, but I'll try not to engage in any conversation. Oh, while while uh, you guys were out here, I found something interesting. You remember that rainbow shell that we got from Chief Stan? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Turns out it it was a mano shell, and let's just say that creature. It was odd from the way I was uh, from what I'm here. They don't normally appear at this time of year, but like it's typically something that would uh, be active in the spring. Not that this, are... not that this villain would have anything 
would care about when they'd be out, but... As you yeah. guys are talking, you see Amari making her way from over the gates. Alright, well, thanks to you guys, I had to secure the gates again, but everything should be fine. I took care of the ones that were following you, and the extra slime that wanted to come in. Thanks, love. Are you alright? Well, just had to expend some extra magic that I didn't feel like expending today. Do you have limited magic? No, it just tires me to use stronger magic than I should have to be using. Ah, uh, I see. Probably something you're not familiar with, Aiden. You are right? Why the fuck? It's not functioning! <laughs> Is he still high on that oil? No. Are you lying? I'm just trying to get then the water it's... out of my system. Yeah, he sat a bit too close to the fountain over there. To Don't mind me. And then, well, I'll see if he wants to talk to you now. And then she'll go into the library. All right, all right. Shall we head inside? Okay. Uh, let's do it. <laughs> As you guys are coming inside, you'll see her uh, go through the uh, the doorway and relock it behind her. some time you hear the door lock click off like like a loud magical lock turning and then the door opens Oh, let's go check it out. That would do it. Okay, oh. never mind. <laughs> we'll see Omari come back down. All right. He said he's ready to see you, and that he's been already informed and knows that you're here. How? I don't know. I don't never understand him. Well, well, come along. I was just saying, considering he's a great mage, I don't know, would it be out of the realm of the ordinary for him to not know? I mean, yes, but I don't know. I never understand what he's doing. Fair enough. And then, uh, as you guys, Malachi and uh, the cat will, um, are, are we seeing them now? And soon will yep. come over. Oh, I was just getting into that book. All right, uh, hold on. Let, let me, you know, I'll like, pull it open. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'm ready. All right, after you. All right, we'll lead everybody upstairs. Uh, 
I had everybody. I had everybody selected. Sorry. Yeah, you, yeah. I was also. I selected myself at the same time. So you may need to move me again. Yeah. You can walk through it. Oh. Okay. Nope. Just like use your arrow keys. Okay. There we go. Yeah. It's like a. It's like a tight hole. Well, he's over there, uh, doing who knows what, but, yeah. If you need me, I'll be downstairs. I will go back downstairs to our studying spot. You, you, you guys go ahead. I need to con get my thoughts in order. I am going to grab his arm and basically drag him with me. <laughs> you, uh, had, uh, you had time outside. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll do this then. Make a strength check. And what check? They're making a strength check. Oh. <laughs> One higher. So, so Yvonne plants his feet down <laughs> and like you try to grab and pull him Kurt but he's not budging <laughs> he's like inching but he's not bunching uh, uh, bl 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 please ah, fine fine Nivea, let's go all right. Well, hello there, Master Grendel. As you approach, you guys realize that Grendel is in like a deep trance. Hmm. Master Grendel? He's like focused on to the paper on the table. I'm going to just walk on over and have a look at just peer over his shoulder and have a look at the piece of paper. As you look at the paper, you realize it's a map of Asaria, but it's got little X's written on them with elvish writing that you cannot make out hey guys come take a look at this do any of you guys understand these symbols i might have a clue so you would as you're looking at the symbols you realize that they are town names but they also have markings on them signifying possible uh, locations and events that might have happened on them. You aren't sure what the events are, though. Does anyone know what they are? It's like... Uh a handwritten like shorthand note that he's that Grendel has written. Uh, I'm mistaken myself. Do not recognize this. Hmm. Well, the last thing I would want to do is break his concentration, but uh sorry, did we know that it was Osira or was that just was that written in that the map, language? The map is of Assyria. Okay. Um, if you look into uh, at the Discord, it's under maps. On Discord, okay. Uh, yeah. Maps. Uh, that's fix. Oh yeah. Okay. Well. Last thing I would want to do is uh, 
piss him off by breaking whatever spell that he seems to be dealing with. Just gonna back up a bit. It's like, uh, Aiden, it's okay. He's, uh, he's in a bit of a trance right now, so. Ah, uh, I, I see. Looks like he's casting some magic, something to do with the, this map over here. Can I, can I read the map? It's an elvish. You only know draconic in common. Ah, oh, damn. We have somebody who Gerard is Elvish. Oh, Gerard. Gerard knows Elvish. Ah. Gerard uh, told the party. Uh, you heard, you overheard him saying that it was just town names with shorthand scribbles on them. Yvonne, do you rec maybe recognize the kind of spell he's doing? Or what he's, what kind of, uh, like, maybe you might know what's going on. Hell, any of you magic casters, maybe you guys might know. Can I can I do a arcana check on that? Go ahead. Uh... Bye. You can only tell that he's in a deep trance. But it has something to do with the uh, glowing orb that he is holding. Orb. Surprised Mari didn't tell us about this earlier. Hell. I guess he must have started doing it while she left to get us. Oh well. Would I know anything about the orb? Or no. Let's see. You'll also notice that around the room there is I didn't put them, but there are several different incenses that were lit. And there is a, a at least 25 gold on his table that is slowly dissipating. Hmm. I also like to make an arcana check. Sorry, who? Would anybody else like to get an arcana check or... You can choose to go find Amari. Uh, I'm gonna make my way downstairs and find Amari. Maybe she, which maybe she knows what's going on. Hey guys, just wait there. I'm gonna see what's going on. She's in the crate. Okay. Hey, Mari. Sorry to bother you, love, but uh, it looks like Gren now? was Grendel in the middle of a, a trance when you left? She'll come over to you. What? Oh, well, it's. No, see he was, I mean, he was starting to do something. Like, he was setting up incense. Well, I guess. We walked in there, yeah. and it seems like he's at his desk in the middle of. A trance with the map in front oh of him. He's doing that again. All right, hold on. She'll go upstairs. If you want to make your pathing look more natural, Kurt, just hit space. Okay. How long has he been like this? Oh, uh, basically, after you left, and would you we found him stop like this. running around? I'm pacing. Go pace over there, then. She'll like point towards like the chess. Okay. Yeah. The last thing I would want to do is uh, break a wizard's concentration. 
but... Let me see. She goes and she'll look at it. Well, there's incense around the room. And that's a ritual item. Is that... Let's go... Oh, he's using a divination spell. Give him a minute. He's, okay. He's checking something. I don't know. She'll, like, back up. You guys might want to back up. Yes, ma'am. All of a sudden, a wave of magic will uh, explode out of Grendel. See, it explodes like this much. And it'll come back. <gasps> <gasps> Amari! Where are you? I'm over here. Oh, oh, are, are these them? Wait, where is he? Where is Matouche? Ah. Uh. Matouche? Uh. You didn't have to call me by my government name, but this is fine. <laughs> He'll like... He'll nose you, Matouche! And he'll run over and give you a big hug. Ah. My boy. I, Cheeky told me that you ran away, and we were worried. I'd like back up a little. Yes. That explains everything. <laughs> but why did you run? I... I have my reasons. Got a, a disgusted look on her face. <laughs> well, 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 I, I don't understand. You, you wanted to learn. You wanted to heal. Why did, why did you run when Eldestein was under attack? You, you could have helped. You could have saved some lives. I... I was afraid. Of what? Dying. I wasn't strong enough. Your magic could have healed some people. Cheeky's been looking for you. I'll have to... I'll have to send someone, you know, like, Amari, send a message as fast as you can to Cheeky. Let him know I found him. And she'll, like, roll her eyes. Okay, fine. So... Hey, can I, like, stop her? Oh, okay, no, it's too late. <laughs> she'll go and she'll leave the room. You, why did you do that? You, you, why not? He's been worried sick about you. You're his creation after all. He I, found you and gave you new life. And I, you'll have to excuse my daughter. She is, she's been quite, uh, irritated, I guess you could say, ever since her mother passed away. Uh, that explains a lot, too. A lot of revelations today. Uh, excuse me, sir. I'm going to do the best Malachi voice I can. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, what, is there a way that you can make my cat talk like that one downstairs that we rescued. <laughs> and he'll look. He'll look at. Well, what? <laughs> Wonky's a magical cat, and I'm guessing. And he'll like look over 
to Garfield that's like scratching at the chest. I'm guessing yours is just a stray that you found. But let's see. And he'll like gesture here, kitty kitty. And it'll come over. And he'll, he'll like wave his staff. It is of no. Nope. It is of no use. It is just a normal cat, sir. But. You do look familiar. I can't put my eyes on it, though. I'll think about it. Okay, we'll take Garfield. All right, worth a shot, I guess. And he'll go. You talk to a master. You talk to a, a a famous wizard, and the first thing you ask is, "Can you make my cat talk?" Oh, this is funny. <laughs> Get your own Malachi. Priorities. Well, anyway. Master Zazun oh. will come over. Uh, yeah. Can you do you know anything about Psionic? I I can you know like whip out a dagger out of thin air. I can summon these. But I, I don't know where from. And then Brenda will Go to reach for the dagger, and his hand will phase through it. You know, look at it. It's an interesting. I'll have to do some research on that. But it, you said psionics. Where did you learn this from? Uh, let me see. Insistence character. Zachariah will go. Well... I I was having nightmares and then all of a sudden I woke and I screamed and when I flailed my hands a blade just shot out and stuck in the wall and I could pull it out but I realized just as you seen only I can touch them you like interesting I will do some research on it and I will have a letter sent to you when I let you know. Thank you, sir. I'll go and join Malachi. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Master Grendel. The name's Jill. Jill Goldfinch. Nice Thank to meet you, ma'am. <laughs> yeah. And how do you know Matush? Uh, honestly, we all kind of just met at, in Hennessy's during the, um, <clears throat> during the festival. Long story short, uh, we got together, rescued Chief Stan, uh, as he was turned into a mano, apparently, which I actually wanted to ask you yes. about that. Yes, yes, I, I, I know about all of this. Oh, perfect. My, my question for you is, can I see the snail shell? Sure, I'll pull it out. And he'll, he'll go to take it from you. Yep. And he'll start it. He'll detect. He'll he'll use detect magic on it. And go. There's a hint of polymorphing coming from this, hmm. but it's almost like it had to be on someone for a while before it could have taken effect. Uh... That's interesting. Does it look like it's... Uh, I'm trying to think. Does it look like it's been gathering energy as of this moment? Because no, I've been holding on it to looks, it for a while. It looks like the energy is already spent from it. It's just dissipating. Interesting. So... If it's anything, if it's, uh, if it's what we think, it's probably that guy in the, in the dark cloak. He probably slipped it into Stan's pocket and then just let him be while he was on his way yes, to yes. Lith Harbor. Yes, I saw him too. I've, I've already, I already know. I, I assume you saw what I was doing over there. 
Yeah, uh, Mari was saying something about divination. Just forgive me, I'm not too familiar with magic. Yes, I, uh... I was trying to look into the future to make sure that, well, I already knew you guys were coming. I wanted to make sure that you guys were going to be safe. Hmm. Well, thank oh, you for keep. Well, approach. thank you for checking. <laughs> he'll, he'll approach Yvonne and go, uh, Matush, my boy. I'm sorry. Um. But the future looks very grim. I uh, I don't know if you should be involved in this. You, you want him to control. Run. So I'm here to learn magic. Nothing more. Well, you from what I saw, you did learn. But they were too strong for you. You you sent me a message with these, and he'll like hold out sending stones, a pair of sending stones. <laughs> and he'll say, "Uh." Oh, Didn't it didn't save? Damn it! All right. Um, we'll say. Uh, oh, I know where it's written down. One second. <laughs> you you said to me with like screams of the party in the background they're too powerful i'm sorry we failed you tell chicky that thank you for giving me life and that i love him and then all of a sudden the stone's power disappeared i'm, I'm afraid that i don't want this to be the case i don't think i should send you after them. After that hooded figure? Yes. He, he... He's a very strong individual, apparently. I, I couldn't get any more information. That was my second time using the divination spell. And it became a different outcome, where... You were fighting, but it it just didn't came to be the same situation. So I'm very confused, but my mind leaves me and my training leads me to believe it's the first outcome. Do you want him to just run away again? I don't want him to run away, but I want him to be safe. It, if I send you guys on this quest to take care of that guy and to protect Assyria, are you guys going to be safe and be able to come back to me knowing that the job was done? Well, we, we accept, we started off just accepting this initial quest from uh from St chief stan's son and like when it comes to adventure you have anything can come up like whether it be just a giant snail out of nowhere or even just the black mage himself out of nowhere you have to accept like you have to accept the unknown here and we'll, we'll give a read, look at you and go the black mage is dead he's been course. sealed away for a hundred years I don't think he's going to come back. Of course, of course. But I'm just saying in general, anything could happen. And while if you I understand your concern for Aiden here or Matouche, 
And I, and I, as I say that, I uh, tip, I tip my hat. <laughs> um, let me see where was I. So, I understand your your concern for him, but I'm willing to accept. I'm willing to accept this quest. I can't speak for everyone here, so I'll let them make up their choice or make up their mind on that. Well. I came here with the expectation of you teaching me. I don't expect you to abandon me like I did to you. I will come back stronger. That is, that is why I am giving you these. And like, he like gives you the sending stones, even. <coughs> Wait, what? He gave me He's the giving stones. you sending stones. Yeah, oh, okay. sending stones. Cage. So just uh, you can add that to your inventory by going to inventory, and then like scroll down to loot, and then just click add, and I'll find an image for it later. Inventory loot. I'm in inventory, but I don't see it. Is it on? So where it says loot on the right side, there's an add button. Oh, that's it. No, not weapon. You have to like you have to scroll down the loop. Oh, there. Okay. What are those? And what about you, ma'am? Those are the sending stones. They're, I guess, to put it in your uh non-magical way rocky talkies okay cool there you go Aston. <laughs> and what about you ma'am you you haven't been talking this much uh are you shy or well i'm just here to listen but as for me I don't back down from an adventure, so I accept. And he'll like walk past you too. And you too? Well, you, I, I, I put my eyes on it. You look like a, a great warrior that could, I could use some assisting with. Um, but you, I believe your psionics would be a great help to them. And he'll, like, gesture to the party. What I'm going to ask of you... Oh, shit. That helps if I move the camera. I'm going to ask of you... Uh, what was your name? My name is Yuma. And this is Garfield. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, uh, Yuma and Garfield, I'm gonna ask of you for some assistance with, I guess you could call it a recon mission up in Perion. Have you ever been to Perion? I have. That's, uh, where I trained against some stumps and collected wood for my family. Great. And, uh, you, uh, like I said, your psionics would be good for them. I believe as your powers grow, it could cause some really good effects that would be very beneficial. Uh, Zachariah will just give a simple nod. All right, well, I guess it's settled. The four of you, Jill, Matush, uh, ma'am, I didn't get your name. Name's Nevea. Nice to meet you. Heaven backwards, got it. Yes. Um, <laughs> no, no name tricks. Get by me. <laughs> <laughs> And the red demon over there, 
I believe his, he said his name was Zach or something, will uh, will go to Assyria and take care of the threat there. I'm going to use Yuma and look at the cat. I guess Garfield, uh, I'll find a use for him, as a recon mission up in Perion. And then when we are done there, I will send him to your aid. Well, that's not my fault that he spelled it wrong. <laughs> Does that sound good, Matush? Will you be able to handle that? I assume you are the leader. You are a cleric, after all. I, I, I think the leader of this group is Jill. Uh, Wait, I am really. Yes. Well. Are you a born leader? I don't know. I maybe I'm in the after all this. I'm trying to get some gold to afford a ship. So I guess, and considering I'm somewhat of a pirate, maybe. <laughs> maybe I've got captain-like qualities. Who knows? Well, look at you. You don't seem like a pirate. I mean, you're dressed like one. But well, not a born have pirate. The characteristics of it. Let's just say, uh, forced into the trade. Not I willingly. Understand. But uh, yeah, just definitely want to try and find my find my home someday. I know it was at a, at a certain port town, but I was too young to know. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. Okay, I'll. If anything, if if just being the leader making is just making sure a Matush over here doesn't get swallowed up by another Mano, I can take I can take care of that. He was swallowed? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> like, is that why you stink? Uh, maybe. Anyways, Matush. I'm here to learn about healing magic. As you as you see, like you'll see, uh, Yuma going for this book, mm -hmm. and uh, Grendel will cast hold person on him. Oh. Don't oh, keep fast Oh. Don't touch that. In like. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, well, why not? Oh, it, it's bound. No shit. It's cursed. Oh, oh, oh. I don't like back up from it. You know, Grinnell will say, this is a book that I found after I've been tracking it, that known figure that I assume you guys have seen too, the black hooded one that you described. This was left at one of his sites. Interesting. I'm trying to remove the curse on it to understand what he is doing, but it's very difficult. By the looks of it, it just seems like he seems like a powerful mage. I don't think he's a mage. I think he has a mage helping him, though. Possible. Well, we know he's... We know he took the ship. But, uh... Alright, well, so what... Of course he took the ship. How else do you expect to get to Assyria? You know... Now that I think about it, four of you might not be enough. 
you know, like, shout out, Amore! And then let me go grab her. She's gonna be a bundle of joy, isn't she? <laughs> yes. <laughs> what now? I'm trying to study. I need you to accompany them. You what? <laughs> You heard me, young lady. Accompany them. Make sure they don't get into any trouble. I know you're strong. You should be able to handle that. But uh, uh, I have to look out for all the people here. And I have that class I have to teach. I'll teach it. Duh. Uh, uh, she'll like throw her fist down and have a pouting face on her. But I don't want to help the Warforged. I, I like go over there and I like pet her. Like... <laughs> Love prejudice doesn't look good on you. Yeah. Well, hatred from them didn't have to kill my mother. You know what? We're having a lot of revelations today. This is starting to explain quite a bit here. My apologies, but even still, you can't assume every every Warforged is like that one. Just like really I wouldn't assume. He's spinning again. I I don't know. He's got a Warforged. bolt loose. Just like I wouldn't assume every dragon folk is an evil pirate. Anywho. How long am I supposed to help them for? Until they complete their quest. But nonetheless, I think since you are going on an adventure, it is time that I give you this. And it will hold out. He'll like conjure up um, out of thin air a uh, staff. And he'll say... This was your mother's staff. I think it's time that you have it now. And he'll give her the staff. She was a very powerful wizard. I hope you know that. I wish her disappearance wasn't, well, meant to be. But please, for the sake of Assyria, I need you to help them. And she'll, like, take the staff and, like, tears in her eyes, like, th This was Mom's? Yes. Uh, uh, all right, I'll do it. And... Next ship leave for Assyria leaves in 10 minutes. You guys better make it in time. And they'll like throw passes, boarding passes to all of you. Do you know where he went after he got to Assyria? That I am not sure of. All right. I was only able to use the divination spell based off someone that I knew being Matouche. All right. Good to know. Uh, you all better uh, hurry. Wait, wait, but you did not teach me any. What are these stones? The stone. I have one. You have one. When you need to contact me, give it a light squeeze until the blue energy you see, starts vibrating. That will vibrate my stone, and I'll be able to hear you. Ah, okay. What is a portable teacher? I'll be in contact if I need to teach you something. Uh, okay.
All right, let's roll. That ship's there. Get out of here. <laughs> that ship's not gonna be waiting for long. What am I colliding with? Oh. You're colliding with everything. <laughs> when, when I get outside, can I like squeeze the thing? <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> right over here. <coughs> and it, Grendel will pick it up. Hello, that's take one, well, two, three. Yeah, M Matush. They work. I've tested them before. Please. <laughs> okay. Good to know. No like and the uh connection. Alright. Now that it's just you and me, let's talk about that recon mission. Yeah, what's up? Oh wait, no, I'm wrong person. there for that scene. All right, well, we better rush. Yep. Let's yeah. let's kick it into high gear. My I think my thing's broken. It's it's, it's like a gray screen. You didn't you didn't come over. Just uh refresh your thing. Oh, okay. It's it's not pulling your character. No portal for uh, the airship? Uh, there will be. As you guys rush over to the port, you hear um, the uh, sounds of seagulls and uh, other... Uh, start to hear it tickets tickets please you guys will hand all the tickets are you in Yvonne yeah, yeah, yeah. okay you'll just hand all the tickets and he'll he'll punch them all and you guys will board the ship oh As you're boarding, you will have this guy will be here. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. Please find your seat, and then as he, uh, as you board, Jill, he'll like eye you up and down. Uh, uh, whoa, uh, uh welcome, welcome aboard, Lass. Uh, please, uh, make yourself comfortable. All right. Thank. Will do. Thank you. And he'll uh, he'll go off, he'll go running off. If you guys need to adjust the sound, just do it on Discord.
Zachariah will let uh, Amari know. I'm gonna get some rest. And then he'll rush into the, uh, the lower decks. You guys are free to interact however you want. Hello. I don't want to talk to any of the NPCs. I didn't realize we'd have a robot on ship today. Where are you from, bud? I'm from Edelstein. Edelstein? I've only been there a handful of times. Where and she'll like, she'll nudge her. Can you believe we got a robot? Do you do tricks, robot? Uh, yeah, show us some tricks. Uh, I can do this. <laughs> You're just spinning in circles. Doesn't that make you dizzy? Nope. Well, that's interesting. I guess you don't have a, uh, a stability sensor problem then. Nope. Maybe we could use him as a motor. A hey, rider, and she'll what? smack him in the shoulder. Uh, I am not a motor. I'm just joking. Of course you're not. You, you'll you'd rust anyways. I, yep, I didn't mean no like water. So, to call out, hey Bart, you gotta see this. And Bart from the uh, up in the crow nest will go. Is that a robot? I love robots. Ah, uh, I seem to be a little popular. So, what Ain't much your... the robots come around here. What are your names? Well, I'm Captain Eloise Rowley. This is my main man, Ryder Smith. Up there, that's Bart and his seagull buddy. Ah, uh, are you guys strong in magic by any chance? Mm, nope, we're just ordinary sailors transporting from all over the land. Today we're going from um, Alinea to Assyria. I see. Do you guys have any knowledge? Knowledge of what? The seas, of course, yes, but what other knowledge would you like? Magic. Huh. I know no magic. Robot can do magic. I didn't know that. Yes. Can I? Can I do a? Can I do a spell? What can I do? That doesn't like take a spell slot. Everything you do can take a spell slot. Uh, yeah. You can. Uh, he doesn't have cantrips actually. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, he didn't take cantrips. He took uh, level spells. <laughs> Wait, did I not take a cantrip? <clears throat> Yeah, you didn't take cantrips for some reason. Ah. If you want, um, you can take, like, we'll say, do you want a cantrip? I think you can only have one, two, three, you can four, have five, six. Two, I believe. I did not, I swear, I took a cantrip. Yes, I'm not. I think you can only have, um, I forget what clerics is. Cleric. It's two. Two. All right. Pick a two cantrip soon. What is the list again? Oh. I'll throw them on real quick. Cantrip. Oh, all that's happening. Anybody else want to take initiative? 
I'm gonna make my way over to Amari. <coughs> Yoink. Who's this? Hey, Amari. <laughs> hey, Amari. I, uh... I wanted to apologize for earlier. I didn't, uh... I didn't realize what happened to your mother, and... I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. Of course not. Of course you didn't. Uh, nobody ever does. I... I, I keep it bottled up, but it, it's nice that and, and she's like holding her staff really close. Well, I guess this is the only thing I have of my mother, so it, it's nice that I have this at least. Yeah, wish I had something like that. Why don't you? Well, I was kidnapped at a young age. Uh. I'm sorry to hear that. Well, I'm I'm just looking forward. Hopefully, I can, hopefully I can find my home. But yes. need the gold. I need the gold to get my ship of my own. So, well, what kind of ship are you looking for? Oh, something, something like something like this. I see. Well, that'll be a lot of gold, but hopefully you're able to figure that out. Mm-hmm. Were you, uh, inspired by your mother to study magic? Yes, she was a bishop. I want to be just like her. But she was also very strong in new things other than bishops. Mm -hmm. That, like, normal other side... Aside from healing magic, she could do. And I can... As she, she'll, like as she grips tighter. I I can feel it in the staff. Well, that's good. How... Uh, have you been to Osira before? Can't say I'm too familiar I with have, the place. But only when I was younger. Mm. And it was just a trip with Shororai's dad. Seems like we. Uh, actually, no. I'll leave it. I'll leave it at that. Well, hopefully this. Tr hopefully it doesn't take us too long to get there. Shall not. Mhm. Just uh. Damn me. On when you. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Shall like go to look out. It's the uh ship. Nevaeh, what are you doing? I'll check out this little guy. How you doing? I, I take it you didn't hear me, Justin, earlier. I was asking if I could do a stealth roll. I just didn't want to interrupt anyone. Oh, no, you didn't. I didn't hear it. Uh, is going for stealth? Here. Hold on, hold on, Jordan. Right. Uh, with my skills... Uh, so you double-click on your your character. Yeah. And open your character sheet, and then you're gonna click Stealth. Done. I have advantage, normal, or disadvantage. I'm pretty sure it's normal, though. Just I, normal. I didn't see a check. You make normal as you're walking up the stairs, the board creaks and it alerts Nevaeh. Hmm. Hello there. How are you? you up too. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Wait. Just heading towards Orbis. Oh, wait, that's a new player. Ah. <laughs> My bad. I thought that was an NPC. No. <laughs> I'm an NPC. What do you mean? No. <laughs> I do have cantrips. I, Can I, I go have... down? <clears throat> Where are you trying to go? Can I able to go any other places in the ship? 
Sagan. Am I am I am I able to go to any other places in on the ship or? Yeah, yeah. You can wherever there are doors, you can go. Ooh. Actually, yeah, Yvonne, you did take uh, th you did take some can trips. Yeah, I was I was like I'm f I'm like positive I took like. <laughs> it's weird that they didn't transfer over. As you enter in, uh, you hear these guys in a hush at the table. Yeah, yeah, I saw. Yeah, I, I swear it's her. Mm. And then Cherry will. Welcome aboard, love. You looking for some refreshments? For till the ship starts. I know if you're like, you just keep hearing hushed rumors or whispers from these guys. What do you got to drink? <laughs> got ale. We got a, a this fancy thing called soda. It's like a sparkling water, but flavored. Uh, we got water. <laughs> <laughs> It's not the seawater, though. You don't want to drink that. Let me get an ale, ma'am. All right, that'll be one silver, please. All right. So I just deduct a silver? Yeah, just deduct the silver off of you. Okay. Um, so you have... Uh, 19. 19 silver. Your flame and spray that iron. These didn't get added to you. I don't know why. There you go. What are you? And she'll like. And she'll. These guys will like. Look over and look back. Yeah. <laughs> well, don't mind them, love. They're just uh, part of the crew. They're uh, obviously slacking off. And they'll look back and. Yeah, we'll get to it. Where are you guys up? Where are you traveling from? You traveling with party members or solo? Yeah, I got a couple friends up above. Traveling to... What was the name? Sarnia. Orbis. Orbis. Sarnus. Ah? Orbis. What? Orbis. 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 Yeah, that's where... I believe that's where we're going today. So, uh, what's, what's got you, uh, going to Orbis? Uh, well, we're off to a little adventure. Oh, I love adventures. That's why I'm a, I'm a part of the ship. I get to travel places. What places have you been to? Uh, we've been to, uh, recently we just came back from rain. Took a trip around the island, delivered off something to the penguins over there. And then, uh, now we're heading to the Orbis, and... I, I think we're dropping off some of the cargo in the storage, but I'm not too sure. I, I just maintain the kitchen and bar here. Uh, got any food? As you, uh, as you hear that, um, where's the, uh, you'll hear, like, let's put some music in all the, um, We'll hear, uh... Oh, oh, better hold tight, love. Ship's about to take off. Oh, getting bumpy. And as you, uh... As she says that, you'll feel a sudden jerk to the, uh, the side. Uh-oh. As the ship starts to take off. All right, I guess we're in for a couple days. I think it's like, uh, travel time's like two days or something. Not too bad. Yeah, I mean, it's about, look at the time, 5.30 now. We should be arriving there about mid-afternoon in two days. Ugh. Is that one of Back for more love? You part of his party? No, I'm not. What all foods you got? Well, uh, ma'am, you already had some food. I'm hungry. Well, uh, you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to wait. We don't got supper until uh, 
about another three hours. Didn't I, I mean I gave you enough quesadillas last night when you boarded? Feels bad. <laughs> Starving again. Any drinks? But, I mean, five quesadillas wasn't enough for you. Would have been fine if there was six. Yeah, but with that beer and alcohol you drank last night, mm -mm. I'm surprised you ain't drunk, but all right, whatever. And she'll like, I'll add it to your tab and put down another pint for you. Let me get back to cooking. Gotta prepare for supper tonight. I think the, that's everybody. Okay. They the the the, so uh, the one. Did they say? Oh, they did. Okay, they did. Okay. Uh, like What's in front it? of them, like I I like cast uh light. So I'm like, look behind you, and I cast the light. Roll. And I'll look behind you, and I'll be like, oh my, but where did that come from? Did, did you do that? Can, yep. can you? Well, well, we can't have that. Uh, you gotta get rid of it. We're traveling at night, and... Uh, 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 okay, I, I, like, pull back the light. Uh, I guess you can do magic, right? Man, I wish you could do something like that and be more useful around here. Hey! Well, we're taking off now, love. Uh... I don't know what you want to do, but if you, uh, 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 the the I don't know if you sleep, but uh, uh, I yeah. will keep watch. No, 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 no. That's Bart's job up there. And then you, you, you hear you hear uh you hear Bart. Yeah, my job. Uh, okay. See, it's a clear, Captain. Well, if you need somebody, feel free to ask. I do not sleep. All right, no problem. We could use some hand work on here. Actually, you know how to use a mop? Nope. Uh, I, I get dry. She'll like, she'll like toss you from behind her a mop in a bucket. We need a. It's been a little dusty from the last time. Can you clean up around here? Got some dirt over here. Over here behind the deck. Just, uh, sleep up a little bit if you can. Uh, okay. Would I be able to uh, make an action where I'm at? Oh, we're gonna go to Kurt next. Well, at this at this point, I'm just uh, just watching out to see. I'm not doing anything special right, right now. All right, then we'll go back to uh, where did, where did you go, Randy? I'm in the. Uh, the bedrooms. Go ahead. So, I head into the bedroom, and as soon as I was going to head to sleep, I noticed that there was someone injured 
uh, laying in the bed and walk over without trying to be noticed. I wanted to cast a, uh, a spell. I, I wanted to cast Cure Wounds. I'm able to do that, I believe, right? Yep. So you just go to target him. Oh, rip. I, I didn't target He's, first. Yeah. Otherwise, you're gonna do you target yourself. There we go. And spells. Cure wounds. And so this soon will be uh, healed for 10 HP in this sleep. Then I was going to head off to bed. Right. So how do how exactly does rest work? Uh, yeah, it would, I know it wouldn't be class, a short rest or a long rest. Gotcha. I know with my class we do uh, meditation. They don't sleep. They're my race. Yeah. So, so like you can sit in the bed we'll say you're sitting in the bed and your like hands are like in a meditated pose gotcha alright well we better get inside ah you won you just don't Wait, did they, did they, are they gonna pay me? Are you going to pay me for, you know, cleaning? <laughs> pay. <laughs> Slaps right around the shoulder. Get, get a load of him. <laughs> this uh, robot's got jokes. No, I'm not love. You're part of the crew if you want it to work. Do I get some, okay, understandable. Well. Well, at least I was able to help. I will now go inside. Right now I'm already inside, aren't I? No, this is a deck. Oh, this is a deck. I, I, I will now go inside. It was nice talking. So like, nudge and like they'll have a chuckle. That you're gonna like jump off. Wait, am I? Is that not a door? Oh God. That is a door, but it's on the other level. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> All right, well, you take over. I'm going to take some rest. And she'll go and path out into her room. Arya, are you coming? I suppose. Taking a nap, or what are you guys doing? Is this oh, what, rest? what time is it right now? Uh, you should have a. Uh, we'll say it's about eight thirty ish. Right it's now. actually on. I used to see it, but it's not on thing anymore. Can anyone else see it? I, I barely see. I it. see it. I, I see it at the bottom. Yeah, it's like uh, halfway covered, but it shows eight thirty p.m. Yeah, actually, it doesn't show it for me. But okay. Um, yeah, you sure. You can see it on the stream if you want. Yeah, that's why I've been. That's how the lights are. Right, there. right. Okay. Uh, As you come into the room, you'll notice uh, the uh, druid meditating 
on their bed. Oh, we got another one in a trance here. And you'll hear Zachariah snoring his ass off. Oh, this is going to be a long couple of days, isn't it? All right. Oh, we have people in here. My thing won't move. What? You have to be on selection. Balls. Well, hello there. Nice to meet you. I'm Randy. I'm oh, how are you doing? The moon. Ooh. Very how are you doing, there. Randy? The name's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. What brings so you aboard got. today? I'm currently heading towards Osiria in search of oh, finding okay. people to heal and expand my name. Oh, so you know healing magic. I know just the person who uh, who's interested in that kind of field. I look over towards Aiden. Is that C-3PO? <laughs> I, I like open my eyes and I'm, I like look at him. You seem interesting. Hi, my name is Aiden. Aiden Matouche. I like extend my arm out. I reach out, shake hand. Where did you get these wounds? Uh... I fell in water. That's a struggle. <laughs> yeah. Am I able to, uh, to, like, cast heal again? Or yeah. how does that, how that work, like, turn wise yeah. You're, you guys are in open uh, world at the moment. You're not in combat or anything. You're able to do anything you would like would, uh, within reason. Would you be okay with me healing your wounds? You know healing magic? Yes, I'm quite proficient at it. Can, can you teach me? Uh, I'm still I am also... this myself, but... Ah. I know basic spells for healing. Okay, understandable. But enough to be able to heal your wounds if you'd like. I... I can heal my own wounds. I'm just... Forgetful. Alrighty, just figured I'd ask. Thank you, though. So what brings you guys to uh, to the ship? Where are you guys headed? I know we're actually heading in the same destination, though. Uh, we're more trying. We're trying to find an ind an individual. They boarded the last uh, the last ship that left earlier. But uh, yeah, we're we're kind of just traveling as a group. You saw the the snorer over there, and then. Uh, Myself and actually, uh, he was oh. injured as well. I cast heal on him while he was sleeping. Well, that was nice of you. But you must have missed your uh, the friend you're searching for by like 15 minutes. Yeah, no, it's basically the ship left as we got as we were getting there, and uh, let's just say was not exactly a friend. <laughs> it would have had like a two day head start, essentially. And we'll say a day head start. Yeah. Well, if you guys would like, since we're both heading in the same direction, and you're looking for something in Osiria, and I'm also just looking to expand my name, we could party up for a short while. I can help you on your search. That sounds that sounds reasonable. Wait a minute. There was another one with us. Where'd they go? Is that the one that was drunk and passed out at the bar? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> let me get. Do they look like a monk? Somewhat. Okay, I'm yes. gonna make my. At this point, it's like, okay. 
Fine, I'll be the responsible adult. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to the bar and see if I can find them. Alright, I'm gonna head back and meditate. Ah, there you are. You... <sighs> you find, uh, Nevea unconscious and asleep at the table. Alright, I'm just two, gonna... two things of ale, like large pitchers by her. Alright, alright. I'm gonna. I'm gonna just, uh, kind of just. Not, not, not slap her lightly. It's like, okay, come on, wake up. Let's get you to an actual bed. Trust me, you don't want to sleep on this thing. I can make an unarmed strike. All right. Yeah, that hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Give them, a, give them a nice slap. And she wakes up. Huh? Uh, what Trust me, love. Trust me, love. Uh, you maybe had a bit too much to drink. Let's get you to a nice, comfortable bed. Oh, good. It always yeah. happens. I'll give you a hand. So she's moving. Let's. Let's go. I got, I got both. Right, good. Yeah. Sorry? Go ahead. Oh. Yeah, to select you. Just so I get the... Right in here. And <laughs> I'll plop... Let's, go, let's plop you on this bed over here. Alright. Alright, I'll go close that door. So by the time you get back, it's about 10.30. <sighs> All right. Time to get some shut-eye. Uh, let's... Well, let's take this one over here. Party will, uh... We'll take a long rest here. So I can give you guys just all... That really quick. Gonna long rest everybody that's on the maps. However, uh, Rambi, since you're, uh, since you only have to meditate, make a perception check. A perception check? Yeah. That'd be under skills? Yep. Okay. Um, I have the check mark next to it, so I have advantage, right? No, it just means so you're just proficient. Okay, so normal. You get, a, you get a more boost. Normal then. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Salad. Oh no. Ooh. You, you are unable to realize anything in. I hope this isn't my star forcing luck tonight. <laughs> <laughs> As you all are all are asleep. You motherfucker. The, the crew uh, that Nevea saw come, sneaks into the room, creaks open the door, and they start to grab Jill. A uh, perception check, yo. As they're uh, pulling you out. Doesn't oh me? I was gonna say, doesn't uh, Mr. Warforge not get to, get to do as well? Oh yeah, uh, because Yvonne's uh, meditating. So uh, as they're uh, as they're going in and pulling Jill out of her out of the bed, Yvonne make a perception check. All right, me. Check. Okay. Or... No, Yvonne. Okay. I'm kind of perceptive. As you realize 
you realize that someone's in the room with you and that Jill has been is not in her bed and then the door has been open as you hear footsteps running uh Jill has been uh I, I like what the fuck did I just I'll go over to uh, everybody and be like Jill has been captured and I run off chasing it chasing I was eating I follow suit chasing after wait which way did it go as you uh out the wrong way <laughs> as Jill's being uh carried away uh suddenly she's shaking awake go ahead and make a uh whatever you want Kurt oh let's see uh, uh it's like what let's say an, ath an athletics check to, to try and break free from the three of them holding you. You're too. I you're know. too. From a long day, you're like, huh? Trying to pull yourself away, but they got a grip on you. See, I told you that was her. I told you. The boss will be so happy. Let's get. To, let's get to him. He should be coming soon. You know, as you're in your tiredness, uh, you realize that a sh another ship is being pulled up next to them. Next to the ship. And I'm thinking, I'm just getting PTSD, and I'm like, oh, hell fucking no. I'm yeah. gonna try and, uh, I'm gonna try and, uh, get out again, if I can. Good. Find the NPC. Eighteen. All right, we'll say you're able to push away one, grab, grab the other, and do a backflip uh, away from them towards the uh, ship. All right, as soon as I get, as soon as uh, I'm able to get free, I pull out my two rapiers. Like, who the fuck are mid, you? Mid backflip, she draws her rapiers in a stance and lands in a stance. Ready to fight. Alright, who the hell do you think you are? As the morning sun is coming up, you realize it's part of the crew that one of the members that greeted you. I saw you earlier, and who is this about your boss? Hi. You don't recognize us, eh, love? Been a while, eh, kid? As they're talking to you. Do I recognize the voice? Uh, you'll recognize the uh, second voice. Who do I recognize it as? Well, no, I know. Like, I mean, <laughs> context-wise. Oh, you recognize it as uh, one of your kidnappers. Oh. Bet you didn't expect to see us again. Time to put you back to work. <laughs> I'd, I'd like to take uh, action. That's cute. You actually saved me some trouble. I was I did want to find you guys at some point, but uh now you just saved me the trouble of dealing with you myself. And then, Ram, you want to do an action? Yeah, I wanted to cast Entangle. Go ahead. On, uh, on them. I have to target, right? Yes, uh, so you're going to cast Entangle, and it should just give you an area of effect in which you want to place it. Uh, Alright, so I'll click on it. And... What? Oh, crap. My skills are in the way. There we go. Right, so my thing's bugging out because it's. I'm trying to get to where it's not on uh, Sir Tux. Ah, well.
Because I, I can't, I can only see like a, a quarter of it, and my screen is blocked out by a lot. Like on my screen until now, I didn't even see um, Aiden in it at all. Because all the the chat yeah, was, it was blocking him out. Uh, scroll out. Like use your mouse wheel to scroll out. Oh, okay. Well, that's different. Am I able to uh, to replace that? Because <laughs> I would not uh, have uh, yeah. guessed that I, I couldn't see it. There's a table on here. Huh. Second. Go ahead. Bells. Uh, Alright, so it wants me to end the action. Am I able to get the spell slot back? Or how does that yeah, work? I got it. Hold on, mate. I got it. I reset it. Uh. Right, you should be good. No, this is where my chat. Okay, it's back. So these two are able. Hey, think you think you think you're some magic? That's like the boards from the board sprout up, start sprouting up, restraining one of the enemies. Who goes there? Ramby. Get off my friend. This is That's our fight. Member. Stay out of it. Well, it's my fight now. Should we roll initiative? Hmm. Yeah. Say, like, as, as Ramby does that, um the you saw you see the boat uh pulling up on the side and you see uh, another man swing onto the boat you so are you, well I'm gonna add you into the initiative but since you're asleep from being drunk we'll say one round of combat, you'll come out. Okay. And then same with well, Zachariah will just be knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Snoring. And then Astrum, you need to... Uh, wherever you want to position yourself. It should be good. Uh, I did PM you something, so I'll need you to respond to that. Initiative, or you could um. Where's that at? Uh, so click... where the chat is, there's the fist. You can click that, and then you'll find your name and click the dice. All right, fist. Uh, got it. gonna roll for you uh sure. okay. so you, uh your turn will just essentially be skipped all right we'll, we'll say you can make your your move as if you're coming like you'll you're gonna be able to go here and then come out okay no. i want different music for this 
Yeah, this is too peaceful. There we go. Stop. I'm trying to click my character to be able to move, and it's, uh... Because you're targeting, you're not... You have to click the square. Remember. Okay. And... According to initiative, I'm able to move first, or was it, were we waiting on something else? Yeah, give me one second. We'll say as um as the fight breaks out, um, there's going to be other combatants that are coming onto the ship that the uh, main uh, crew members will be fighting also. So you'll be hearing the small group fight. Gotcha. And then Ryder will be alerted. And he'll be like, Get to the cannons! We're being invaded! So, uh. Hmm. So, <laughs> over here. You gone. Hey Justin, can I come out yet? Uh, I had to do. I had to move some people, so. Okay. Uh, Rambi's first in turn order. Okay. okay. Alright. Um, I'm going to wild shape. Okay. Uh, it's not giving me a box to. Shape so into. right click your character. Okay. And it's that gold wind looking icon. You're going to click that. Okay. And then choose what you want to wild shape into and click it. Alright. Uh, I chose it, but it just gave me a pop-up box. No. It, right click your character. I did. And then I clicked on the box, and then it had me... Uh... The gold box. The one that says Polymorph Manager. What do you want to turn yeah, into? Yeah, the, the lion. Um, I, I have the polymorph manager up, but I clicked on it, and it's not giving me anything to, like, choose select. Did you... You have to click on the animal. Oh, okay. Uh, that works. Now it says... Polymorph you're gonna or click wild, wild shape. shape. Okay. Make sure everything's unchecked, except for keep vision, and, and transform. then transform link. Okay. Yeah. And then wild shape. Uh, it's not showing me, is it, on mine? <laughs> so you said the lion, right? Yeah. There we go. Oh! Alright, my, uh, screen just went dark. Stop. <laughs> yeah, because his token's gone, that's why. Let you know when the screen comes back. All right, it's back. I'll have to do that for all of them. All right, so you wild shape as a bonus action. You see Randy uh, get down on all fours, his hair turning into a large mane and a tail sprouting from him. Alright, um... That's new! <laughs> I'm gonna choose to pounce on, um... The... let's see... Where's the target? Features... If the lion moves at least 20 feet straight forward in a creature and then hits it with its claws, on the same turn, the target must take a strength saving throw. Supposed to use the box, I think. There you go. I guess it's also not doing the claw attack. What? Well, this is just the feature for it. 
if I move 20, uh, 20 feet in a straight, uh, straight line, that it automatically, um... You have to hit it. with a claw attack first. Okay, um, well then I'll move forward and I'll hit it with a, uh, claw attack as well. So move, like, right, move right here. Yeah, that's fine, yeah. I wanted to get in front of them too, so... And then skills, um... There's nothing for claw attack on my abilities or features. It's I've... an inventory. It's an inventory. Select your character. Oh, okay. I don't know why it puts it under inventory. Because it's considered a weapon. Got you. Inventory. Claw. <laughs> oh, what is this one called? Tenero. <gasps> As he draws his weapon backwards. Where did the lion come from? I didn't remember a lion being on the ship. Do I also go with, uh, oh, you succeed the 16 for the pounce? Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh, go ahead and move here, Gerard. Uh, here? Yeah, where my marker is. I can't see it. No. Where does it show how much damage they took? On the chat. Um, so... 1 die 20, plus 3, plus 1, it did 15, and then slash that, and did No, 15. so the 15 was whether you beat their DC. Okay. The slashing was the damage. Okay, so 5 damage is what he took? Yeah. Alright. Okay. Yeah. You need help, my guy? Yeah. Because you went on the right lost. <laughs> A bit lost in the ship. Uh, the veil will come out in like a headache haze. What's going uh, on? I knew something was fishy about these guys. No fucking way. I knew I smelled fish. <laughs> Guys, just like on a, on a, for Kurt and Yvonne, he hit it. Wait. Wait, oh, what? Oh, the 22. Matt hit, he met, he hit 22 on his ET. Yeah, yeah, so, kind of crazy. He kind of crazy. Damn. Oh, damn. I, uh... Even. That's my turn. Alrighty. Yep. <laughs> Can I try it? Ah. Uh, hmm. nah, I wouldn't even try. Oh. <laughs> uh, can I use Bless on that Gerard? Wait, what the heck? Gerard is over here. What? Oh, no, that's his curse center, but... Yeah. I was, I was, I was so confused. Can I use uh, <laughs> Bless on Rambi? Yeah. Rambi's the lion. Sorry, I can choose three people. So I'll do yeah. it. Uh, Rambi... Where the fuck is Jill? Uh, I'm... I'll just, uh... I'm still writing underneath. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Rambi, Jill, and Nevea. Why did it break again? Oh, okay, right. I got a target. Oh, no. Okay, too far away. Is there uh, I guess that I guess I can their HP. Um, you can hover over them, and it should say something like, Injured. Gotcha. If it doesn't, I might have to update No, it, it does, it does. Yeah. And then as a bonus action, I'll bring out my spiritual weapon. <laughs> the upgraded one. Uh, you should. can't. 
Because you cast. Oh, I need to make an attack. Level. Wait, what? No, so you can't cast two spells of a level. So like you can't cast oh, the first right, level spell a and, trip and a. Oh, you're yeah. right. No, you're right. Never mind. And then as a bonus, I guess I'll just uh, chill. Yeah. I don't know why the stream camera broke again. It breaks every time, and I don't know understand why it breaks. What kind of light is everyone working with, by the way? Are we in dim light, regular light, darkness? Uh, it's um. You're speaking. Of I guess it's language. considered uh. Uh, dim light because it's like even or like dawn. Okay. What were you doing, Yuan? Are you standing your turn at the bless? Yeah, I just I just bless and then I'll just okay. Yeah. Valero's gonna. What's the uh thing? Um. Uh, I have to read this. Stream by the plants. When the spell ends. So it doesn't create rock terrain. So this one's gonna go over to Jill. You're coming with us whether you like it or not. And then uh, he's gonna make an attack on you, Jill. I don't know why it didn't roll, but whatever. What was the? I was gonna say, what was the roll? Yeah, I don't know why it didn't roll, but whatever. It was a uh, twenty-one to hit. Oh, okay, yeah. De Niro being backed up by the lion, is gonna make an attack toward, at it. Normal. Yeah, and just click the uh, thing on chat. Yeah, I click the dice and do I have advantage, normal, or disadvantage? Just normal. I don't know why the dice aren't working, but whatever. Joe. Alright. Let's see here. How can I unrotate? How do I fix my rotation here? Because this is uh, hold, select your character and hit control. Okay, sure. got it. Cool. All right, I'm just gonna move over slightly here, and then I'm going to let's start with let's start with love. All right, let's let's do this. Uh, I guess that doesn't work. Okay, I'll just do it. I'll do it the old-fashioned way. Love. The hell? Oh, I have to target. That explains everything. I don't know what I don't know what happened with the dice. It's all but good. Uh so a nine. As long so as there's a hit. Sorry? As long as it's it's working in chat. Okay. Um then my my bonus action, I'm going to use war and I'm going to use uh the blessedy four. Uh, so. Right. <laughs> Crit. Oh, boy. Get fucked. <laughs> Over my dead body. <laughs> well, that was a plus sneak attack. Yeah, there it wasn't did, anything it, in. Yeah, it, it crit the sneak attack and the thing, so. Well. Alright, uh, so then, uh, with my remaining movement, I'm just gonna back up so uh, I used one so two th three oh, three four five I'll just be right here and that'll be it for me I love it it's, it's fun one thing that gets me is like the the storytelling part of it 
I don't want to be in character 100% of the time. No. Yeah, no. This, one. <laughs> this one's going to make a... Because uh, he's in the thorns, he's got to make a strength saving throw. Successfully frees himself on a nat 20. My brother! He still takes damage, though. I'll get you for this. And he'll go over here. Behind you. In front of you, on. Are you on the gritty one? No, you're not. What? You weren't on the grid. I had to move your character. Oh. And he's gonna make an attack at you. Uh, doesn't it cost an action to get out? No, uh, oh, yeah. Never mind. My bad, my bad, my bad. Sorry. So yeah, his action was to get out. Um, we'll say, said he uh, he moves over here by the gen. And then you'll see Jen as he uh, was up fifteen. Let's see where he is right here. One, two, three. I'll come up to Yvonne. This is what you get for targeting our crew. He's going to use a multi-attack on you, Yvonne. Whoa. Whoa. Which is... What does he get? I think it's one with his scimitar. With his dagger. So we want to make a constitution save throw twice. Okay. Ah. Nice. <laughs> Let's go. Nat 21. Let's go. Then we'll jump to Omari. Uh, so, Amari is going to target the guy right by Aiden and cast Guiding Bolt. That should have a mod of plus two higher if that matters. It would still miss. Okay. Uh, with the rest of her turn, then, she will move third the full 30 feet. If I can. Uh... Get her to move. She doesn't seem to want to move. Imagine having the name Guiding Bolt, but miss. So, where do you want her at? Just, just. This is gonna go to the top of the stairs with her full thirty feet. Ramby. All right. Um. Let's see, I will. As you, as you guys are, I'll, I'll move forward. Combat. Uh, 20, twenty-five feet. And oh, I'm, I hear the cannons start going off. I want to use my uh, my claw attack on to Jen. If oh, if you move like that, you're gonna get an opportunity of attack from the. The other dude. Yeah. Oh, wait. What do you mean, like, behind? So, because, like, uh... You went... Because you're already in combat with him. If you're moving away without disengaging, he's gonna make a free attack on you. Oh, okay. I did not know that. Alright, um... I will... Instead, then, I'll, I'll just bite this dude. Excuse <laughs> And so the bite, that's my action. What? I need to find a way to check what uh, is considered a bonus feature. It, it should say, like, under you. Like, those are actions. It would say next to it as a bonus action for usage. Um, 
doesn't show. Alright, that's fine then. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll end my turn off that. Moves uh, 45 feet. Um, and then uh, I'll we'll use the dagger, and that'll end my turn. Oh my god, that guy is dead as well. Alright, uh, I will... At the... Again... Can I use hold person on him? On him. So, yeah. Oh, oh, oh talk again. I'll do hold person. Oh wait, fuck, never mind, that ends my concentration. I forgot that. Never mind, I will just use uh, my spiritual weapon and bring it up. Bonus action. Yep. Yeah. And I guess as my normal action, I will just. Uh... So just so you know, the when you spawn the spiritual weapon, you can actually attack with it when you spawn it. Oh, how do I attack with it? I don't have like an attack like action here. That's pretty dope. Uh, just roll. Uh... Just roll, uh, let me see, what is it, 1d8 plus No, so it's just like spell a- casting. No, it's a d20 plus your spell casting modifier for just like a regular weapon attack, and then- Yeah. Okay, so what, I just cast a regular, a normal weapon attack? Yeah. I forgot how to roll just normally, oh, it's here. A 1d8, you, you can also said? just type it. No, d20. No. Oh, d20. You can just type slash r 1d20. Oh. Well, fuck. Okay. Well, I guess I do four damage. Oh, wait. No. Wait, what am I doing? That, 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 that would be the roll. That would be the roll. Yeah, that's the roll. So it, it would it would just straight up miss. Don't, don't even worry about damage. So then you still have an action. Uh, I guess as my action, I will. I'll use my wall hammer. I'll just. Wait, what? Okay, did it do the damage? Oh no. No, so that was the attack roll. Oh, okay. What, what was the attack? Oh, it did hit. My wall hammer. Wait, wait what? But it's, I just said 23 hits. Oh, because it let you. I wait. rolled a 23. It shows an 11. That's weird. Oh, I I guess for some reason it's telling us what his AC is. Oh. Let me see. You saw nothing. No, that's not his AC. Not anymore. But it wouldn't hit. It wouldn't hit. Okay. Cause he he parries it. So oh. you, okay. as you summon a a warhammer, a spiritual warhammer. Or you go to strike down with yours also, and Jen, with his dagger and scimitar, 
smacks it away from you. As you see, Yvonne trying to uh, smash down on the uh, Jen. Joe, what is your action? Hmm. So I, oh, I'm not. I'm going to. I really don't know what happened to the uh, dice. That's really weird. One, that it just disappeared. Two, three, four, five. I'm then going to target this guy. All right, let's let's go let's go uh, love. And then, uh, oh, it did the sneak attack. Thank you. War. Uh, with that, I'm just going to call it there. As Jen parries a wave on and sees his other uh, companion, I have to move your spiritual weapon because I can't target him. Um, tougher crowd than I thought. Fine then. You know, I'll start disengaging. The beast will take care of you. And he'll jump back onto his ship. Would I know what he referred to as the beast? No. Okay. So he'll jump back onto his ship, and you'll hear him shout, Unleash the beast! We're done here! There's and the no ship starts pulling away. Stop him, like, mid trying to escape, like, any type of rolls or nothing? No. Because he's disengaged. Yeah, you would need a reaction... That could like do something at a distance. And uh, as you, uh, as the ship starts pulling away in the sky, you see a black cloud forming with a magical circle on it. Uh oh. Where is it? Probably should have went underneath the deck if any maplers know what I'm referring to. <laughs> yep. Genial Rog. Hello. Oh, where is it? Only a crimson Balrog will uh, appear. To the uh, combat. Okay. Alright, Amari? Amari. Mr. Filler! Excuse me, it's actually the Balrog's turn. No, it isn't. It's yours. Are you skipping it? Yeah, because it it um it went it went to your turn on this on its summon. Okay. We'll say that that it its summon was its turn. Oh, we will try another gold guiding bolt then. That once again should be a fifteen, but I assume it misses anyway. Why would it be a fifteen? The staff bonus isn't being applied. It's the staff bonus. Plus two. Maybe it's not equipped? Mm -hmm. I didn't make equipped. the character sheet. In any case, just uh, it should be too higher. It's your armor class that goes up, not the, uh... It does a whole bunch of stuff. The second line is... Uh, yeah, you get a plus two bonus to armor class, saving throws, and spell attack rolls. And that's a ranged spell attack. Hold on. Yeah. Let's 
spell. So, so it would. You just want me to say what the spell yeah, does, roll. basically. Okay, so it's four yeah. d six radiant damage, and the next attack roll made against the target before the end of my next turn has advantage, because it's glowing in a soft, so, mystical light now. So just do a slash r in the chat slash r of space four d six. Yep. And plus two damage because of the stat. So 16 radiant damage. And she will once again just back up a little bit because she doesn't really want anything to do with it right now. But yeah, uh, that would be her turn then. comes up to Rambi. Also, it is flying. Rambi. Oh, sorry, my bad. Um, I'm going to... My character, am I able to move that far? Yeah, I can. Uh, 30... That's nice. Wait, what's up? Um, isn't this... My, my lion's a tank, basically, right? You have 24 hit HP. I do? Yeah. I, I thought this had more HP than that. I thought it was like 40-something. Yeah, it was 24. Or it has 26, but it you got hit for two. It's the tiger that had more HP. Ah, uh, that's right, that's right. Alright, we'll wing it. Use claw on, uh... So, uh, when you... Here, let me do it. There we go. Uh, so it's gonna have advantage. Oh no, it fucking was targeting Elon. Ow! What's up? Got fucked up, man. Oh my god. The uh, the Balrog. Um. Yeah, I know. Because you need to go at advantage, and you're using claw. Yeah. And it's also takes my uh, my pounce feature too. Well, it's uh, flying at the moment, so you wouldn't be able to pounce it. Balls. It's not what I want. It's alt. So it's gonna hit as you dash forward. You're gonna swipe up at the Balrog, uh, dealing four slashing damage. Your claws just barely clipping its feet. Nevea, you see the lion rush forward at the beast. Um, forward. Uh, about right here. Am I able to use uh, Breath of the Dragon? So do. What's that? Let's see what that does. Okay. Is that under on your features? Yeah. Start to yeah, go ahead. Alright, let's roll. Uh, oh, so you're... Uh, do I need to use it on our... So you're, you're gonna... Did you target him? 
Good. Let's try it again. Or I did click him. It doesn't need something else. How does this work, Astrum, for his Breath of the Dragon? Oh, uh, let me read it. Never. Is this a racial feature? Uh, it's a monk feature. Monk feature, okay. So you basically, you're choosing between a 30 foot line that's five feet wide or a 20 foot cone. You choose the damage type you want to inflict, and then each creature within that area must make a saving, th a dex saving throw, based on his. Ah. Key DC, but what, what is this key DC? Is this key DC just the uh, spell save DC? Oh, let me check that for you. Uh. Monk's key DC. Eight plus proficiency bonus plus wisdom mod. So ten plus. Ten plus two plus uh, wisdom, you said one. So it's eleven. No, ten plus two plus one. Is no, he said eight, eight plus, plus prof plus wisdom. Oh, eight plus two plus one, so eleven. Okay. And then he just has to make a basic attack, right? And so like, instead no, of it's a, a so Balrog has to make a saving throw. Oh, okay. A so dexterity saving throw. He did not pass. Uh, then in terms of his damage, it's. Two rolls of your martial art die. Uh, which at third level would be 1d4, so 2d4. And then you just choose what type of damage, whether it be acid, cold, fire, lightning, or poison. Okay. Um... Wait, what was the roll I need to make? You're level 3, so it would be 2d4. So slash r 2d4. Um, or slash r space 2d4. Plus any mod you have for your unarmed strikes. Uh, yeah, I don't think I have any. Let's uh, it's... Like, if you have a dex or a strength mod, you could add that as flat damage on there. I believe it'd be based on strength, then. Either way, monks can choose dex or strength. Oh, okay. So, we'll say 11. Okay. This is dex, so... Yeah. So, plus one. Plus 11, yes. That's, Modifier, that's not... Saving throw. So what's the damage? 11. No, it would be... Nevia, what's your dex mod? Or what's your dex in general? It's it's 4. four. It has 19 dex, so it's 4. So it would be 9, so we had... And there's two of them, so it goes to uh, 13 damage then. Mm. Huh. It's like 2d4 That's plus hard. 8. Okay. Five. Wait, what? what do I do that? No, that uh, doesn't seem right. Because it had 94 health. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I mistyped. I was typing on, instead of on a calculator, I was typing on the thing. <laughs> Alright. Aiden, your turn. Now we know how much HP the boss has, Kappa. You won. 
one second. Uh, <clears throat> this guy go f I, did I get fucked up? Alright, I haven't fucked up yet. Can I move my spiritual weapon? Wait. What? What? Why doesn't I want to move on him? Just click your spiritual weapon again in your thing and it'll have you replace it because it's already out. Oh, okay. Where did it go? Okay. There. Oh my god. <clears throat> They need a d20 again. Yeah, I need to roll again, right? Boop. Does that hit? So plus your modifier, which would be wisdom. Oh, what is my modifier? Oh, yeah, wisdom. Plus... That plus two? Yeah. So 16. Does a 16 hit? 16 does hit. Okay. Now what do I roll with this? 1d8. What's a d8? 4. Plus 2. Because oh, yeah. you're a modifier. modifier. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll hit him with my crossbow. Actually, no. You know, fuck that shit. I use Sacred you Flame. To... Oh, yeah. wait. I use Sacred mm -hmm. Flame on this dude. Uh, that guy. God damn it. fire goes and screeches past the leg of the beast and he lets out a mighty roar. Alright, I see this Balrog in the air. I decide I'm going to make a just from here, I'm going to get a running start. I'm going to then jump on the back uh, or on top of Rambi's back and then, make, and then jump again to uh, stab him with love. Make it an athletics trick. Athletics or acrobatics? Uh, you think Astrum? Probably acrobatics, acrobatics, in my opinion. Yeah. Okay. Nine. Uh, you go to yeah. You go to jump, and as Rambi is is falling from swiping at the beast. You slip on his back and hit the ground. Alright. Uh, I was just movement. I'm going to use the rest of my movement to get up. And then... I'm going to just try and hit him with love. Oh, target. Can I please thank you with that? Yeah, okay, good. That's uh boom. And I will with my No, I can't do that. Um I'm gonna call it there. Beast, uh, in case any of damaged you want to do this there's the rules for high jumping and then uh the beast will go and with the three of you 
aimed at it. Y'all better pray this fucking doesn't kill you. Um, it's gonna shoot a fire breath at you. Uh oh. Oh no. I'm good. <laughs> I will. No. I got lasted. It's a normal roll, right? Just click. Yeah. Normal. In Rampy, you have to make a constitution save. Oh, wait, why'd I take zero damage? You took 17 damage. You're, you're not <laughs> oh, wait, I'm, I am unconscious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And Ramy saved because Ramy uh, failed his constitution. He reverts back, right? I thought I would uh, back once I uh, I lose all HP. You said, or or you? What's the ruling on that, Nestrum? Is wild shape concentration? I think it's it's considered concentration, right? Uh, if that's concentration, you would have to roll a uh, constitution save to compete against it. Yeah, I think that's what yeah, he just he rolled failed. for it. Yeah, and he failed. Ah. A oh, DC 10. Oh, if it's concentration then, and they just failed thought... that save, then yeah, they would revert. Let me uh, confirm. I thought, it's weird, because I thought Wild Shape was ability, it wasn't a, uh... His was... is combat Wild Shape, not Wild Shape. Uh, but it's, it's, it's the uh -huh. same-ish. Wild shape. I haven't played a druid, so I'm just reading it quickly. Same. Uh. I don't think it does take concentration because you can be no, it doesn't. concentrating on a spell as you're in wild shape and you can't concentrate on want? two things, so. What does he want concentration? I don't know. Just, just forget about it. I'll figure out what it's doing later. Alright. So then Without I the uh, Amari. My normal form. No, you're fine. You're fine. Oh, Amari's up? Yep. Okay. Uh, so very simple. They're gonna hit eight in you might with wanna use something stronger. No. Well, or, first off, they're gonna healing word on Aiden to get him up. Oh, no, you can't healing word me. Wait, does that work? You can. Why wouldn't I? Can't. It's a to? bonus action. Why did it do zero to me? Now that's a better question that I don't know. Unaffected construct says undead. Oh, the tailing bird doesn't work on me because I'm a robot. <laughs> You're not a. Warforged aren't constructs. Wait, what? <sighs> yeah, healing spells work on Warforged. Unless that's homebrewed for you guys. Oh, uh, if... it's, it's doing damage. Hold on. There. Oh, uh, okay. look. It's considered like. It always wants to do damage, but I have to change it to heal. Okay. And then with their regular action, they can trip Sacred Flame, the Balrog. So they need a DC 14 deck save, which, oh, it looks like it automatically did. Yep. Okay, so we have that Samari's turn. Right, right. First off, I'm going to move. Am I able to move behind it? Uh, yeah. Let's say you can because it's flying. Uh, Just uh, best. rotate yourself. I'm trying to get it to where my marker. I'm not like right on top of it, so it's not messing with the hitboxes. Come on. You're fine. There. Right here? Yeah, that's fine. Okay. And, uh, I'm going to target Balrog and bite. 
Uh, do I still have that blessed where I get extra die for like more damage? Uh, no, because, no, because uh, I got Yvonne went out of Oh, yeah, 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 that too. What a nerd. Okay. What the gonna... hell? I'm gonna bite then. <laughs> You're able to jump up and get a nice chunk of meat out of the uh, ball rug. It screeches out in pain. Nevea. Alright. Oh. Oh. Over here. Dagger Shrake. You go and you s swipe up in the air at the uh, dagger, or with your dagger, or, or, while trying to also make a flick of it and punch, but the punch misses and you recatch your dagger. Um, you want you see this happening while you're prone? Question: How how is everyone able uh, to do like two attacks in uh, one move? He can make a. Uh, with his class, he's able to make two different attacks. Okay, okay. Because it's a bonus action. I just wasn't sure if there was something I was missing. Uh, due to my abilities being, like, technically weapons in the inventory, uh, how do I see stuff like that if I'm able to use it more than, uh, like, one apiece? Uh, when you click on your character, it'll say, like, usage type. Yours is one action, one action. It would say, like, one bonus action. take to get up half your movement half my movement okay so yeah i'll get up so that means i have what 15 feet of movement 15. now yep and i'll move uh, back here and then i will <coughs> uh use Wait. and then i will to jill i will give Oh fuck! Actually, wait. Can, can I can I use cure cure wounds first on Jill and then move back? I forgot that yeah. I have to touch for cure wounds. So I'll uh, so I'll touch Jill. That's true. And I use. Whoa! I use cure wounds. Thanks, love. And then I will and then I'll back up myself. If I actually as a bonus action, I'll use. I'll also use healing word on Jill. Mm, and then two I'll leveled spells in one turn. Oh, I can't use two. I forgot I cannot use two spells. Fuck. Technically, can he use his spiritual weapon since it's already out? So he's just commanding it. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And then I guess I'll use my, my weapon. Fuck, you know what? Like, out of this whole oh no! <laughs> yeah, I just, I'm just gonna walk back here. Yep. <clears throat> Avon hates cats. Confirmed. What do you mean? Oh shit! You well, I couldn't really touch you. But, uh, touches Jill twice. <clears throat> <laughs> cat alone. It's cool. That's Avon. 
uh, heals you up, Jill, and takes a retreat from the monster. Or what do you do? I feel invigorated. I'm going to step over here and I'm going to... Uh, sorry, one, one sec here. Uh, and I'm just going to pull out love and it's just like, all right, you're asking for it. And then with my bonus action, bring out war. And with that, I am then going to move back one. Yeah, let's go here instead. And that'll be it for me. Okay, so I learned a lot. You can move, attack, and then move again. Wasn't able to do that in previous uh, campaigns that I watched. Oh, yeah, yeah so, that's totally valid. Okay. Yeah, I have, uh, with Rockish, I think it's Rockish Audacity, I don't trigger opportunity attacks when I move. Gotcha. So it's it gonna make a multi attack on you, maybe. It's gonna use its horns. And you're down. Uh, so it reverts me back to my regular form? Yeah. Why does he have the unconscious? I don't know. He's not like the unconscious. What the heck? Sometimes the automation just makes things harder. There it is. What did I miss? I'll just do. I'll just do. Too. So it's gonna use the horn, it'll revert you back with the horn attack. Then on. Just because where you were at, uh, it's considered more than 10 feet away. Gotcha. So I guess I'll finish it up with a. Uh, it'll horn you, and then it'll bite and claw on Navia. It's attack back at itself and yeah. <laughs> okay. Did it reduce to zero or no? Well, no, it didn't. Interesting. Mari, as you see the uh, the creature smack Rambi with its horns, try to bite Nevea and claw at it. Nevea's slaps the hand away forcing it to claw at itself with the momentum it has and this time Amari is looking a little more desperate to help out with the situation she clutches her staff with an even stronger grip and puts her other hand around the reliquary around her neck and begins to cast a spell from the staff it is a lightning bolt spell. Which does 10d6 oh. damage. And it has a deck save. You can uh, just you can just click the uh There's no spell on the it. list for it. It is. You scroll down. No, it's not there. On spellbook? Yeah, it's not in the spellbook. Double. It was there yesterday, but it's not today. I don't know why. It's under magic items. 
Like if you just have your character selected above, it's magic items. Oh, uh, in any case, there's a DC save for that, and if it makes the save, it takes half that damage. Is it save before? Yeah, DC save is 14, so. Of, uh, what am I beating against? The lightning bolt. A dexterity. Yeah, dexterity. 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 It fails, DC so it takes 32 what? lightning damage. Or I guess I don't know the mod, but uh, yeah, you you take over. Right. With Amari clutching her necklace. This is for mom. You realize that's a straight line, right? <laughs> I'll see ya. Yeah, it, it doesn't have to be cardinal directions. Right here, I got it. Yeah, yeah so like that. I was gonna say, yeah, technically, he is elevated. Not so that's kind of cool. What the heck? Shoot. Aims the staff. Shoots it. And. Actually, do I have. No, I don't. I didn't add a lightning. Uh -oh. A lightning bolt shoots it from the staff, going straight through the monster's head, exploding it, blood going everywhere. Nevaeh almost just got exploded. Nevaeh just gets covered in blood. <laughs> Rambi gets it all over his face. Plot twist, I'm into that shit. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> And with that, the monster has been defeated. Uh, I need to pause. Which one is it? The ship that was beside us uh, gone at this point. Yes. I like how the music immediately changes to like just relaxing, soothing beats. Out from the deck come uh, both Ryder and Eloise. My God! What the heck is that? We were operating the cannons. There's some damage to the ship, but holy! And then Ryder will be over here. Was that you? I saw a lightning. Mari will uh, nod her head and clutching her staff. Well, I'll be damned. These three? I wouldn't have believed it. They were such good crew members. What happened here? And she'll go up to you, Joel. Where did this monster come from? Well, you know, you know that, sh that ship that just, uh, basically they summoned this creature. And let's say they were trying to kidnap me and those what? uh those Why three would they kidnap you uh they'd kidnapped me long ago and i used to be on that ship uh fuck those guys and i i, I bet at this point my legs are just like collapsed i'm just gonna fall on my ass here and it's just like <sighs> i was not expecting that thing to come out of it I'm just glad we're alive. <sighs> well, 
well ship's taking a little bit of damage but we're almost at port I think we can make it and, I'll, and she'll go over robot <clears throat> yep Get the mop! Clean it up! Okay. Uh, I think he's got other priorities right now. No, I can He ain't be swapping no deck. <laughs> Not yet! Wait, why can't I walk? <clears throat> we might still be in the combat thing for- Oh no, because I'm talking about Joe. I still can't walk. Oh. That, that's, not, that's the wrong one. I'll be right back. You want? Yo. What the fuck are you doing, my guy? <laughs> I clicked the wrong one. Right, we'll come over. Uh, heads up, that mage still... over there. Or casted the that lightning we saw. I think she's pretty strong. Loot. If there's anything, if <clears throat> if we see anything, sure. Just, I'm gonna get up. Just make my way over to this thing. Maybe stab it again once or twice. I, I my, is my hammer still on it? I'm gonna use my hammer on it. Now the now the fucking things work. Oh, oh. If you really care, I think you auto crit because it's not moving and it's a dead target. Oh shit! It'll get fucking shit on. Uh, as a heads up, you've got movement set to auto or to uh, combat still. Oh. Oh. I was saying earlier, that's why. I can... Oh, that's why. I can... I don't know why it didn't just change. It should have changed on the. I, I go over to. And I'm like. That was amazing. <coughs> nice lightning bolt. And I like pet her head. <laughs> Just smack away your hand. <laughs> what did I tell you about touching me? I just wanted to praise you. I heard that's what humans do. Not all humans love. <laughs> I see. And then I kind of walk over to Ram who's like, that was, a, that was an interesting transformation that you had there. I'm impressed. You talk about healing, but you talk, but then you transform into a lion and, and maim some people. Just trying to protect the party. Protect you have. Live you will. <laughs> Do we find anything on Balrog? A couple toenail clippings. <laughs> um. On the Balrog. You have its, uh... You can... Oh, what's it called? You can pull off some of its claws. And then you have its, like, helmet. Cool. And then from these guys... Um, Does anyone have any, like, type of detect magic or anything like that? Um, to see if any of the items are, like, magical? Nobody has detect magic, I think. Uh, I have Arcana as um, proficient. Would that work? It's not detect magic, though. Ah, oh, damn. From these guys, you get a total of um, 17 silver pieces.
that you can get, you guys can divvy up that amongst the party and whoever wants to um, can I worry about that later no are you okay there Aiden I know you healed me but it looks like you need a touch up I will I will be fine just nothing a bit of oil can't fix <coughs> He's an oil change. Speaking of, wait a minute. Aren't we missing someone? I wish oh god damn it, did he sleep through it? <laughs> Rush over to, to Aiden, I use cure wounds. Ah. Here's that, that one. Uh, that that oil you wanted, there wasn't much left, uh, but there was uh, a little. Thank more. you. Oh. Thank you. Dude, why are you not hurt like at all? Is what druids, uh, whenever they uh, you attack and kill the form, the druid itself doesn't take damage; it's just the form that does. Oh, so what te the fuck? Technically, they have to kill my summon, and then they have to kill me. That's yeah. kind of OP. Yep, that's why I was trying what? to tank. Captain will come over to you. Well, I can't be having this on my ship, so if you get, give me a hand. Yeah, let's we'll cool. send this thing overboard. Got what we need. I guess we'll, as a group, uh, push it overboard. I help. Oops. Literally did not mean to do that. I like how now the dice start working like uh <laughs> Was it maybe it just because we were in combat or had combat time? No, it should have worked through combat. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright. Oh, well dethawed by Hapa. <laughs> it's just floating. Somebody's gotta <laughs> clean up the blood. Robot, you got oil? You're up. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, how did you rotate again? Click and click your character and then control and scroll wheel. Control, Shift okay. And scroll wheel. Thank you. And then uh the captain will go. Say Wasn't there one more of you? Yeah, hey, if, if I had to take a guess, he's probably still sleeping. They oh. slept through that? Y'all better, y someone needs to go check on him. <laughs> Honestly, I think I'm going to do just that, because, uh... Yeah, I'm going to do just that. Uh. Okay, there we go. I like slowly yeah. start cleaning it up as you uh, approach. Uh, you just hear. <laughs> this part, I'm so oh. I'm pissed. I'm just. <laughs> 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 I'm just gonna slap him awake. You sound like my wife over there, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Nightmares for days. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm, I'm slapping him awake. <laughs> He's still, he is out cold. I'm coming to help. Now at this point, just like if, I, if he doesn't wake up from that, and just like I'm not gonna oh, fuck this, I'm do, I'm done. I'm at this point, I'm gonna. 
I, I'm just gonna go s sit down, just sit down, like back against this thing, or back against this thing here. And uh, can I? Wait, who's the captain again? Uh, me next. Me next. I right, go for it. Uh, wake up. I got a 14. I don't know what that does. Yeah. <laughs> Did someone just hellish rebuke him? <laughs> <laughs> Roll a deck save. Good thing I didn't hit him. <laughs> uh, normal disadvantage, advantage? Normal. It's usual normal. Alright, get wrecked, nerd. He's gonna. Huh? And as he rolls over, he's gonna cash Hellas Rebuke and slap you for three damage. But I didn't. Why do I take damage? I passed. Because he. You uh, because um, you take half as much on a successful save. Yeah. Oh. Uh, what? Huh? What happened? Are we there yet? We're we here. No, you idiot. Huh? You slept through all the you... fun. <sighs> what? Happened? Huh? Ah. Jill was abducted. You what? You know, we'll rush out I'm of the <laughs> cabin. <laughs> Better he's awake now. A little bit of exercise never hurt anyone. Yeah. I, I'm just what, gonna stay what here. happened? What? Huh? Why are there dead people? What? Taking a lot. Huh? I'm gonna meditate. I'm gonna actually. I'm gonna get up and I'm just gonna walk out the room here. I'm gonna. <sighs> Where's Jill? You're muted. Gerard. What? You're oh, muted. Sorry. I was eating. I got really hungry. <laughs> Where's oh. Jill? What happened? Jill wants to go find you. You missed out on all the fun. She. That's Rambi. That, that other person. They said that she was adopted. Who's Rambi? <laughs> Rambi is someone who joined us into the, the party. <sighs> huh? Man, how are long you Rambi? You for? Is it just me or did Justin say adopted, not abducted? I think so. <laughs> happens. <laughs> Jesus. No, you're the key. You're, you're the captain. What? What is this? Huh? Oh. He's like still confused from uh. Kurt's new backstory. Yeah. <laughs> you gonna come out, Kurt? Mm hmm. No, no. You gonna come out? No. Uh. Amari. What is this nonsense? Why are there people that? Do you want to talk for Astrum right now? Uh, I'll I'll leave that to you. I'm just I was just here to help with the combat stuff, really. Let's see. Gonna, she's gonna slap him. Be like, can you wake up for once? I am awake. You're not helping. Matush, why are there dead people? Where's Jill? Are we there yet? I I go over to him, and then I I slap him. Why is everybody slapping me? <laughs> Because you're stupid, you need to wake up. 
no you and he pulls out like a <laughs> random card with like <laughs> arrows on it <laughs> and you just look at him puzzled like what the fuck <laughs> Captain will go, well, while you guys are trying to figure this out, I'm going to dock the ship. So, so we're here? Did I, did we make it? Are we here? Why are you running from me? You, sir, you, sir, need to go back to bed. Whatever. It's gonna go back down to his room. Where are you, Kurt? Mm -hmm. Where'd you go? Uh, so th I'm in the food room. What? So at, th at, th at this point, just after kind of reliving the, uh, just re uh, seeing these guys come back and coming after her, she like after like adrenaline aside, after things have kind of subsided, uh, Jill just. Leaves leaves the uh, living quarters and just finds finds a secluded place. Uh, more, she sees the food room and she goes behind everything, kind of just reminding of what she what she had to deal with uh, when she was on those ships on that ship years ago, and how she would hide hide for her or just out of fear, just for her life. And it's just like this thing is just coming back up again, and uh, she's she's a bit shaken right now. Does anyone want to attempt to look for Jill? I'm uh, taking a long rest and meditating. You want do you want to look for Jill? I, I will chill with the uh, with the captain. So as uh, the captain docks in to the harbor, there's going to be a, a rush of people from the uh, harbor. Is everybody okay? The ship's taking damage. What happened? The captain will come out to explain that the ship was attacked by pirates. And that... Uh, the party helped fend off the pirates, but then took on to uh, being attacked by a Balrog. At that point, the party will be able to... Um, oh, what is it? The party will uh, come to their final, uh, des their first destination of Orbis, and surviving their first boss fight. Yeah. After after I hear like everything's been docked and whatnot, I'm just gonna make my way out. Oh. How much time has passed at this point? So I know whether or not my character is able to move or if it's still resting. I was going to say, would it even be a long rest? Like, we were literally just docking. No. Yeah, it wouldn't be a it wouldn't be a long rest. It would just be a short, like, you'd be sitting on the bed. So no spell slots. Yeah. Right. 
I walk over to uh, Araya and it's just like, you asked me, you asked me back in, uh, in, uh, at the, what's it called, the Master Grendel's uh, place when I was on that circle. Now you know <laughs> the root of my darkness. She'll look at you and say, Well, at least we don't, we know that you're helping us rather than going against us. Oh, yeah, fuck those guys. <laughs> With that, uh, the party, besides, besides the soon, because he slept through it. <laughs> uh, so, so Kurt, Yvonne, and Gerard, uh, you yeah. all receive a level. This is going to probably be loud, but. Ooh. Yeah. Level yes, sir. So, will leveling up like do all of the automatic features like uh, yes. like the level four? Yes. So how it will it should. prompt us? Uh. Because, like, level 4, you get to ability score increase or a feat. Do you want... Uh... Yeah, I know you said do you want. It's just like, if if we have to manually so, update our stats or anything like that. It should um it should do it. So, uh, let's start with you, Elon. Um, um, Double-click your character. Full cage. And bring up your character sheet. Okay. And you're going to go to... Uh, Features. Level four. See. Yeah, level four. And then it then let me know what it does. Uh it did nothing. Yeah. Either way, it should require a choice from you at some level. Yeah. That's what that's kinda why I was asking. So like I don't know if how it would work on on uh Foundry. Yeah, let me see. Do I need to do it on D D Beyond? No. Uh, uh You probably need to add something like passive attribute like a uh, uh ability score increase. Yeah, so what is it for clerics? It's, uh, clerics it's, probably want wisdom. Well, that's yeah. It just depends. Yeah. Yeah, wisdom. Yeah, you basically you get two points and you could put it into any stat. Yeah. Or take a feat with GM approval, but those are more complex. So you can either choose a feat or take uh, two. Where do I see? Uh. Yeah, where do I see that? I can get you a list. Yep. I will put it in the Discord chat. If you want, you can go to D&D &D Beyond. You can then go to your character sheet, features and traits, manage feats, and then it'll have a list there of some of them. And you can click on them just to see what they do. Oh, wait, I see it. Unless this is the end of the session. I would just suggest uh, reading through them later because you don't want to rush the choice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is the end. Cool. So yeah. So yeah, you guys can just tell me what you want to do, and I'll edit the. Uh, okay. So sheets. I know what I want to do. Uh, okay. So I want to take the ability score increase, put one into dexterity and one into charisma. So you should have, what, 17 dex, 15 charisma? No, I should have 18 dex, 16 charisma. 16 dex, 16 charisma. Right. And then do you get anything for me, for Thief at level 4? Uh, good question. Let me check here. Oh, first, I also need to roll for HP. Uh, so that's... Let me double check. It's a D8. So I'm not doing the fixed. So uh, R, 1D8. You like to live life on the edge. Well, that's a two. So let me just let me two just do this. Constitution is four. 
Yeah, so that'd be 16. So yeah, I'd, I'd met 24. And then double checking for Rogue. No, I don't get anything else at level 4. automated all this. I don't know why it didn't. Because it did when I leveled up on Mari. So how much experience is a level? It's not experience based, it's milestone based. We'll level up uh, whenever he tells us to we level up. Yeah, it should have done this. It's pretty rare for a group to use the EXP system, honestly. Mm-hmm. It's weird, it should have done this. Like, the XP system, it just becomes a pain on the DM side because they have to keep track of all of the experience values if they have to divide them up, and then each character's experience things. It's like, it's just not worth it. Just go milestone. Yeah. And players might try to game it. Yeah. What do you mean by that? Sorry. Like, they might try to abuse it, basically, in various ways. In order to argue. I'm here. Oh, your I'm, in, uh, I'm in the uh, bedroom. <laughs> I'm curious. Uh, what's what kind of uh, cleric is Amari? I'm. I will. I'll just. Uh, like I, I, out of character. Priest. If you look at uh, a priest stat block, that's why I specter has. Yep. She is not a subclass at all. Oh, okay. I was thinking she was like a life cleric or something else. That, that cleric is starting to look more like a tank than anything. Uh, I have a level 7 life cleric, and yes. <laughs> In another campaign, he is a goddamn tank. Yeah, clerics are real good. It's like, I got 20 AC, <laughs> and then a lot of healing. I've taken three fireballs to the face and still live. I'm just looking at the 70, 70 hit points at level 6. Jeez. Gerard, so you get um, you get an ability score improvement or a feat. And you get slow fall. Okay. <laughs> Do I have to, like, pick? Or... Do you want, um... No, do you, you want an ability score or do you want a feat? I think Astrum's uh, put, put a, a list into uh, the uh, game discussion. Okay, let me look at it real quick. I don't know how many you'll be able to see since a lot of them are paid content on the site, mm -hmm. but hmm. you'll be able to see some at least. Yeah, and you can just like, if something looks cool, just look it up. Okay. Or if it sounds cool. I don't know if uh, uh, I don't know if you made uh, a specific error, a house rule on the f on the lucky feet. Mm -hmm. Some people like to only allow one person to have the lucky feet. Yeah, I know that. I'll just do one in attributes. One in attributes, all right? So you yeah. can put one into whatever you'd like. So you can make your dexterity twenty if you want. Uh, Two points. Two points? Yeah. Okay. I'll do one dexterity, one intelligence. 20 and 12. Okay. And then you get, are you taking a fixed value or are you uh, rolling? Uh, or your HP. Yeah. Oh. To, what did he set it to at the beginning? I'll roll. D8 then. So D slash R D8. You should you guys should be on the bottom of the chat there's like different buttons that you can press. Yep. And then you can just press a D8 and then hit roll. Yeah. You get one D8 plus your con mod or five plus your con mod. So the five so is above average. Yep. 
Which one's D8? Oh, there it is. And then roll. Nice, so you beat seven. the average. Nice, cool. So you have 28 HP now. Fire. And then... Um, Wait, did you say he has 20 you know, HP there? now? 28 HP now. Oh, 28. I was like, how do you have lower than I do? <laughs> <laughs> I've been rolling. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you already did it, right, Kurt? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so then just D1. How do I roll again? <clears throat> uh, so you... Are you taking an, a feat or are you taking... Um... Well, I, need, I need to see the list. Uh, the list is in-game discussion. Right, oh. right underneath his Twitch. Oh, I see, I see, I see. <laughs> um... I, if you, I can give you some suggestions if you want, because I have a cleric. Cleric, sure. Warcaster is a good one. It allows you to. Um, so first, you have advantage on concentration checks. Oh. Okay, and like to if is, uh, if you would make an opportunity attack, you could cast a spell instead. To... Oh shit. Oh, you know, fuck it. Let's go Warcaster. Yeah. I don't die. Uh, what can I sort this by? Like what I can do. What? Do, uh, sorry, what was that? What you can, can I, do? No, can I? Can I sort this? I don't by know what? Sort this. Oh, alphabetical by default. No, I mean like the ones that I can use. Or can I use all of these? You could use any of you, them. Yeah, any of them, as long as it doesn't have a prerequisite that it mentions in its text that you don't need. Oh. Yeah, like some okay. of them like require you have. Some of them requires, oh, you must be able to spell cast. Or, uh, you must be able Maybe to Maybe one will race. say, like, you must, yeah, a race. Yeah, you beat me to it there. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. <sighs> oh and then, um, Gerard, your key points go up also. I do what? Your key points go up also. Okay. Yeah, oh, you yeah. get another key point to spend. And then That's Yvonne, good. you need to roll a d8. In or take game? the average. Or take the average, either or. Ah, uh, fuck it. I believe in my luck. Watch this shit. <laughs> <laughs> and you're rewarded with 8 Yo! plus your constitution modifier and HP. <laughs> Max roll, nice. Yvonne now has 44 max HP. <laughs> Young kind of oh, you. Yeah, right, yeah, out of all, yeah. it's, it's it's funny. Out of the out of all of our combats, he's the one who's gone down <laughs> every single, down. Every oh, single time. Every single time he's gone down. <laughs> what the fuck? Ah, uh, you know, fuck, I'll go wallcast. It sounds really useful. All right, cool. It also does something else. You can hold your weapon and your shield and still do spells that like require oh, yeah. you to move your hands now too. Oh. Okay. A lot of GM's homebrew to just let you do that anyway, but mm -hmm. by default you're not supposed to be able to. Let's see, let's see. I'm at three. You have three. Uh, Something you should rem uh, remember, Yvonne. You have uh, you have channel divinity, reserve life, which allows you to heal without using spell slots. Wait, you can use that once per. Uh, I can use that once. Per uh, yeah. Once until oh, when do you get an extra one? Because, like, I have... I don't remember what level. You'll get another one. You can use twice between race at level 6. Yeah, so... Okay, I need to remember that I have features as well. It's, it's mm -hmm. weird, because, like, I'm used to using d, &D Beyond. <clears throat> yeah. like that one... Website. And Channel yeah. Divinity is restored on a short rest. Oh. Okay. And it has a range of 60... Or 30 or 60 feet. I think it's 30. Uh, 
Yeah, 30, yeah. So, something to keep in mind. All right. All right. So, Aster Mart knows what it was specced as, but based on the, uh, uh, what you saw mm -hmm. and its attacks, what was the Crimson Balrog specced as? In terms of what? Like, what kind what of monster do you think it actually was? Oh! Before uh, all the reskin. Probably a dragon, it. but... Nope. Like, let's see, it had a breath attack, it had claws, it had horns. And a bite. And a bite. Well, that, yeah, dragon would have fit all of those, but... Um, uh... I haven't really played a lot of that to know exactly what that would be. It had 114 HP, a natural armor of 13, 60 fly speed. Um, oh, it's fl strength a wyvern? Nope. Oh, it flies. What the hell? <laughs> a flying <laughs> creature in D&D &D that, that does a breath attack? It's not a dragon. It's not a wyvern. I don't know anything else that's... Any guesses, even? It's a horsefly. Uh, I have no clue. What the heck? Its mm. ability, uh, its attributes were 19 strength, 11 dex, 19 constitution, what the three intelligence, 14 wisdom, and 10 charisma. Mm -hmm. It had advantage on perception checks. It knew draconic, but it cannot speak it. Yeah, I think that's more of a question. Like, DMs would probably know, but outside of that, a player would have to run into that creature. I think I picked a pretty good monster out for you guys. I helped Justin get this one. Yeah, no, that was actually, that was pretty good. It's like it was a, a chimera. Oh, okay. Yeah, I wouldn't be able to tell you that. No. A traditional chimera, so the type of the lion, goat, and then dragon head. Mm. Oh, they have a dragon head? The fuck? Yeah. Yep. Huh. <laughs> Listen, you could you could have triggered everyone in here by having the cut by having its last words be Edward. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, you're lucky. I, I literally was trying to aim at all of you for that fireball. Was it a fireball? And I did, Fire breath. Was. Yeah, I was going to say, have your breath, because that's a bigger radius for it. Yeah, well, I was calling it a fireball because... Uh, yeah, yeah. It was... Uh, In-game, yeah. 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 And it did recharge, so I could have used it again. Yeah, but we all spread out. <laughs> Learn my lesson. Yeah. That was a yeah, CR pretty, six monster. Yep. This combat was considered deadly. Even with a, or, or with or without uh our party member or sleeping party member. <laughs> it was considered deadly at the point of five people. Sure. Amari helped significantly though to make it yeah, yeah, the yeah. challenge. Oh yeah, no, she could have just healed probably all of us. Like, unless you were actually killing us in one hit. Might have She's actually not very good at healing. Or I guess I don't know if I should say that, but, uh... Well, she healed once, but... Yeah, whatever, yeah, it's... Good thing she was with us. <laughs> What's what's the Sounds pretty. Oh, and I did look into the wild shape thing more as we uh, continued the session. And yeah, they don't need concentration for that. Okay. Definitely not. When you reverted, did you take damage? There were any leftover damage? No. no. Yeah, for what it I did was... enough damage to hit him. Oh, just clean. Yeah. Okay. Cause I, like I was looking at it as well, just for the concentration. I was saying, oh, 
If they get reduced to zero, any remaining damage goes to the the human. The other, is human form. Or the player, yeah. Human is, I guess, not the best yeah. way to say that in this game. Main form. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, that was, so, uh, that was a good session. One, two, three of you were level four, or level three. One of you was level four, and Amari was level six. Right, five people. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, yep. So, um, the... Total adjusted EXP was 5,600, and it was considered deadly because um, it was over uh, 3,100. Mm. All right. So so it, was like, it was a CR6, two CR1 and one eighths, which were the, or no, three of them. Yeah, so three CR1 eighths, which were these guys. All three of these guys were CR18, and then the captain, which got away, was a CR2. I'll get him next time. <laughs> get him next time, Kurt. So, okay. how is everyone's availability like for the next session? 24 7. So I was thinking, make him like. Yeah, Ramby's good. I was thinking, making him. Bi-weekly, just so it gives me enough time to make maps and plan everything else out. All right, so every two weeks, every every other week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We'll cool. Skip this coming week, and then we'll plan for the week after. So the week of the fifth. Okay. So the thirty-first through the sixth, we'll plan. All right. Uh, week of the. Sorry, the week of the uh, the first, you said, or the thirty first? Okay, thirty yeah. first through the sixth. Cool. Okay. Thanks for coming, guys. Thanks for hanging out. No it was a long man. session this time. Yeah, was... good session. It's very good. Uh, thanks for whoever was watching in the chat. Got a couple follows. Um, and thank you to our Everybody. assistant. I think a round of applause for uh, Astrum for Thanks controlling for Astrum. Amari for me. You're very welcome. You are no longer titled as filler. <laughs> assistant. You are now yep. Amari. I've secretly been the assistant GM the whole campaign. You guys just didn't realize. <laughs> He's been helping me out with... Uh... Jumping in, tables. make sure everything's right. I'll we'll, I'll figure out what happened with uh, the staff because um, might have just been because you just... changed permissions on me. That would be my guess. No, because like if I if I double click it and then I go to the staff and click the edit, its only thing that it has um, is that ability score, the armor class of two. Mm. Weird. So I'll I'll have to check. I'll, I'll ask the Discord and see what uh, what's the difference in it. Um, yeah, let's uh, close out for that session. Cool. And have a good night, then, guys. You as well. Did you? Uh... Oh, he's gone. Never mind. All right. Uh, you guys I... Next time. Oh, hold on. Before you leave, before you leave, just give me one second here. Uh, where the hell is that thing? Uh, where did I leave it? No, Justin. All right, I got, I got what I was looking for. Where? All right, video. Thanks, Thanks Justin. There you go. Oh, so cute. you get kitty. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. Later, see you, Daisy. See ya.